Aloha and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We are a weekly show that broadcasts live every Thursday at 2 o'clock from 2 to 2.30 and we talk about successful businesses and individuals in Hawaii. It's a positive show highlighting how businesses can be successful. We broadcast from the Pioneer Plaza in the ThinkTech studios in downtown Honolulu. Today my guest is Marlene Reyes. She's the owner of r and Enterprises. Uh, she is a female, of course, and a minority uh, owner of the company. Uh, in a Department of Defense type of contracting situation uh, with the Veterans Administration. So there's a lot of challenges that she's had to face over the years uh, in making a successful company. Uh, in case you're wondering, I am wearing a lei today uh, and it's a special day for maybe two reasons. One is it, it's my wife's birthday, so if you don't mind, happy birthday, Portia. Love you. Uh, and coincidentally, it's also my birthday, so we celebrate two birthdays on the same day. Um, and now that that's over, let's uh, get over and we'll talk with uh, Mylene a little bit. Mylene, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Reg, and happy birthday. All right, thank you. And happy birthday to your wife. Yes, can't forget mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you and we've known each other for a while. We, we've uh, bumped into, you know, some SBA events as well as some chamber events. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday we had a, a really nice event uh, that was put on by the Chamber of Ca uh, Commerce of Hawaii, uh, and it was the Small Business Academy. Um, what did you think of that? It, w it was great. Um, uh, that was my second um, time attending um, the Small Business Academy and I always walk out of um, the uh, academy um, uh, learning more than when, you know, when I came in. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a, a, a great um, um, networking opportunity, definitely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's, it's, um, it's all the um, workshops, the sessions, the talk. They're very insightful and would definitely help um, any small business owners. Well, that's good feedback mm -hmm. to have. I, I'm the chair of the Small Business and Entrepreneurial Committee for the Chamber of Commerce, as, as you know, uh, and this is the third year that we have put it on. Uh, and, of course, the Chamber staff is totally involved, and, and they're the ones that really make it work. But we also have some very good speakers. We have breakout sessions. Uh, yesterday we had over 120 people there. Uh, and there was different tracks that you could do. One was uh, on starting a business, and another one was marketing and branding your business. Uh, and we had a lot of really good speakers there and a lot of good feedback. And as you pointed out, a lot of networking opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, matter of fact, uh, some of uh, the people that I do business with was there, and uh, they actually picked up some new accounts while they were in the, in the, at the academy. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's an annual event. And I think you mentioned you might want to get a little bit more involved and help do the next one. Oh, definitely. You know, I'm, I think I'm in this stage now that I can um, volunteer more of my time. You know, my middle child is now 16. She's driving, so she's able to help, you know, pick up, drop off my youngest um, daughter. That's so, a great help to have. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So it definitely uh, frees up a lot of my time. And what is her name? And her name is Alyssa. Alyssa. Yes. Thank you, Alyssa. Yes, <laughs> yes. And my youngest daughter is Isabella, and we call her Izzy. So We've heard that name before. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Um, well, very so, good. So it would be great to have you involved because, we, you know, you can get involved at the, the committee level, you know, to help with the Small Business Entrepreneur Committee. Absolutely. Uh, and we do focus on series. Mm -hmm. We do legislative packages and, of course, the academy. So always looking for volunteers. It's going to be great to have you join us. Sign me up. Now, you've been in business for a while. Yes, we've been in business for 10 years. This ten is our 10th year. year in business. Congratulations. Thank you. I guess we're going to have to have that decade mm -hmm. uh, celebration here, 10 yes. years of business. Yes. Soon. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Um, did you start? To, I mean, how, you've been in Hawaii for a while, haven't you? Um, 13 years. The Navy uh, brought us here. Um, and um, it was only going to be a two year um, tour, but after uh, two tours, we decided to call Hawaii. Our home. Very good. Yes, and um, the only way that um, I would convince my um, ex-husband back then to stay in Hawaii was for us to open a business. 
All right. And yes. so you opened a business and, and you've been doing it and you stayed and you've been doing it for 10 years now. And yes. It's actually done fairly well. You've got some good contracts now. And, and Yes, we were fortunate to get um, a, a VA contract. Yes. This Very year. Good. Well, congratulations. Yeah. And, and, and what is it? And we don't have to go into all the details of the contracting process because I know that can be complicated. Mm -hmm. But I mean, what is the product that you offer now and you work with the VA on? Okay, we have the, they call it the DME um, contract. So it's a du durable medical equipment. Mm -hmm. So we service the repair, delivery, setup, and patient education of all of the. Um, durable medical equipment such as hospital beds, um, power scooters, wheelchairs, and um, just standard wheelchairs wow. and um, other um, DMEs. So you, you handled it all the way from bringing it in to set up and, and education. I mean, there, that's, a, that's a lot to do. Um, it is. However, um, we've hired um, great um, team members to assist us in um, and uh, uh, servicing the veterans. And we've actually um, uh, outsourced our training um, for, our, uh, for all of our mm. service techs um, from our, uh, one of our partners in the mainland. So um, they do train all of our um, service techs. Very good, yeah. very good. And is that just on Oahu or do you do it in, uh, throughout the state? Uh, no, we're in Oahu and all of the neighbor islands um, except Molokai and Lanai. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, you know a pretty big geography to cover, a lot of land there, and and some of this equipment is pretty good size equipment too. So it takes a, some effort to move this around and get it out and set it up. It does. Luckily, we partnered once again with great um, freight forwarders, so um, um, they take care of um, shipping from the manufacturer directly to our warehouses on every island. Very good. Um, so it's kind of like a drop shipping type of arrangement that you've got with correct, them. Correct, yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, now, there's a myth out there that, you know, all small businesses are, are, you know, they're rich, they can make their own schedule, they can go to work and go on vacation whenever they want to and, and all of this. I mean, have you found having your own business very easy? Very easy. Maybe when I'm asleep, it's easy, <laughs> but, you know, as, as they say, uh, entrepreneurs are the only people in the world who are willing to, to work 80 hours a week just to avoid working 40 hours or working ni from 9 to 5, <laughs> you know, but it has, certainly has a lot of, um, you know, ups and downs, but um, I don't see myself doing anything else. Um, uh, when so you enjoy having your own business? Oh, I, I do tremendously. And um, I've, I've worked, I was in the hospitality uh, industry. Mm. I was in the airline um, and hotel um, industry. And um, that, that really uh, um, helped me a lot because uh, I was in sales and marketing prior to that. And then I grew up in the demo um, industry. So, um, you know, the collective experience um, prepared me from Kind of led you to kind of doing what you're doing now. Exactly. That's very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you also, I would imagine along the way, I mean, you've been doing it for 10 years, but you, you've had other people helping along the way, like the SBA and the Chamber. And there's, there's, you're not doing it necessarily alone. There are support groups out there that can help you. Exactly. And yeah, um, for any new startup businesses, new business owners who are thinking of, um, you know, starting a business, um, there's plenty of resor resources available for them. And as you mentioned, SBA is one of them. And I actually, um, uh, I was um, one of the emerging leaders um, uh, program uh, attendees. And um, I, I learned a lot from, from that program. Matter of and fact, I think mm -hmm. that's the program that I first met you at is, is one of the, uh, the events that they had. Correct, yes. 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 Uh, can tell us, if you don't mind, a little bit about the Emerging Leaders mm -hmm. Program. What, what is that that the SBA does? So this is, I call it a condensed MBA. You know, it's like it's a five or six month um, course and it's open to um, business owners or um, 
management level uh, individuals, and um, they have. It's not necessarily for s startup um, businesses because you have. I believe the requirement is you have to have at least three hundred thousand in uh, revenue. And, and a number of years. And a number of business. years. Yeah. Correct. Yes. So, but um, the curriculum um, included everything from um, human HR management, human resource management, um, uh, knowing and reading your financials, your mm. business financials, um, marketing, um, the ABCs of government contracting. Wow, they even get into government contracting. Yes, too. yes, yes. And then they invite speakers in the community, bankers, um, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. marketing guru, um, HR professionals, and and it it I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. It's, and you said it was a about program. a five month program. Correct. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they meet how many times a week? Uh, once, I think we met like once a month, once or twice a month. Once or twice a month. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of homework. Lots of homework, yes. But mm -hmm. I didn't mind because I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, and the learning curve was pretty steep, but it, it did exactly. get you into areas that you normally wouldn't have been exposed to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. And from what I understand, it's a very competitive process to get accepted into the program. It is. It is. Yes. But, um, you know, don't let that stop you because, um, uh, you know, if you don't get in the this year that you're going to be applying, then you know, find out what you need to do, and then try again the following year. Right. Mm -hmm. And how would they go about uh, if there was somebody in the audience who wanted to, you know, explore and learn more information? I know you're not with the SBA, but uh, is there where did you go to find out more information about it? Pick up the phone. <laughs> ask for Mark Spain <laughs> or Jane Sawyer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. And for those that don't know, Jane mm -hmm. Sawyer is a district director for the Small Business Administration Correct. here in Hawaii, and mm -hmm. Mark Spain is the deputy, deputy director. district director. Mm -hmm. So it's DD and 3D. Yes. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that's the acronym that they use sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, they're, they're both very knowledgeable. They, they can help and, and guide you. In a, and not only with the emerging leaders, but all the different programs that the that's SBA right. offers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you familiar with any of those? I mean, there's different certifications, too, that they could get, right? Yes, and they offer um, guidance and resources for um, 8A certification, women-owned certification, veteran-owned certification, hub zone, and... Well, and they have import-exporting, or mostly exporting yes. type of programs right. and training, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, and of course, loan guarantees. So there, there's a lot that the SBA right. offers. And, mm -hmm. and the reason why I'm, I'm spending a, a few minutes on this is because it is part of a support group that can help people get their business up and running and, and profitable and, and better managed. You know, exactly. there's there's a lot of resources that they have. Yep. Wealth of information. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, uh, you know, we're, we're going to take a break here shortly, but mm -hmm. before we um, leave, leave um, I want you to, to think, I mean, there's, how can you tap in? There's going to be people out there that's listening that are going to want to ha learn how to take advantage of some of the different support and resources and, and that sort of thing to help them become a little bit more successful and, uh, in their businesses. So the SBA is one of them, but there's some others out there too that, that they can tap into right. that maybe mm -hmm. we can talk a little bit about when we come back. Certainly. So this is uh, Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. I'm here with Mylene Reyes who is the owner of r &M Enterprises and handles a lot of a medical equipment uh, distribution for the Veterans Administration here in Hawaii. So we'll be right back in about a minute. Hi, I'm Chris Leatham with Think Tech Hawaii and I'd like to ask you to come watch my show, The Economy and You, each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Aloha, I'm Richard Emery. I'm with co-host Jane Sugimura of Condo Insider, Hawaii's weekly show about association living. The uh, purpose of these videos is to educate board members and condo residents about issues uh, relating uh, to association living. Uh, we hope they're helpful and uh, that they uh, assist in resolving uh, problems that uh, affect the relationship uh, between boards and their residents. Each week, Thursday at 3 p.m., we bring you exciting guests, industry experts, who for free will share their advice about how to make your association a better place to live and answer a lot of very interesting questions. 
Aloha. We hope you'll tune in. Aloha and welcome back to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. I'm here today with Mylene Reyes. Uh, we're talking a little bit about uh, women and minorities in business and, and getting federal contracts and some of the challenges that, that are faced. Uh, but there's also a lot of resources and a lot of help out there. And so we're touching base uh, with Mylene a little bit about where she can go and, and has gone to get some of the support that she needed uh, to be successful in business. Uh, Mylene, we talked a little bit about the SBA, and I guess there's a, an awful lot there. Mm -hmm. uh, and the SBA, SBA also um, kind of joint ventures with uh, the Small Business Development Corporation and the University of Hawaii, mm -hmm. uh, and they've got that bro program out in Manoa, and they, they actually offer training and classes and, and consulting uh, advice as well. Mm -hmm. um, are there other sources that you are familiar with that uh, people can go and get some help? Oh yes, um, I've actually uh, approached the Hawaii um, Procurement Technical uh, te Technical Procurement Center. So um, that's a mouthful. They're, yes, they're they're <laughs> affiliated with the SBA as well, and um, they can help you with all of the the ABCs of uh, government contracting. Matter of fact, mm -hmm. I I think I've attended a couple of their events that they actually have a lot of vendors and a lot of booths, a lot of information, and there's yes. usually mm -hmm. a couple hundred people to go to learn about all of this, and and there's a lot of consultants that go to these things too that yes. are there to help people mm -hmm. get through the. The challenges of the paperwork and the process. Process, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and it can be a little complicated. And not a little, very complicated, actually. <laughs> and that's why uh, Hawaii PTAC, yes, that's the acronym, um, they're there to help you, to assist you, and give you all of and uh, all of the resources that you need. Uh, I think maybe a lot of people might have a little bit of familiarity with doing a tax return, mm -hmm. or at least seeing a tax return, but doing the paperwork to get a government contract can be just daunting. as bad, if not worse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, yeah, very I, daunting. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you've got oh, the Chamber of Commerce offers a lot of support. Um, they got the Military Affairs Council that can even maybe participate and help out a little bit. Um, you know, there, there's actually a lot of organizations out there that can participate and help with the process and take some of the, the challenges away. Exactly. Um, the Chamber of Commerce, have a, a, it's a great organization, not just for small businesses, for medium and large businesses as well. And, you know, um, just try to be engaged and, uh, uh, you know, make your membership work for you. Absolutely. Yes. You know, you yes. get out of something mm -hmm. what you put into it. Now, exactly. And a lot of people wouldn't normally think of this, but sometimes your bank can be helpful. You know, yes. your bank has access mm -hmm. to resources and, you know, some of the banks work very closely with the SBA and, and know a lot about, you know, some of the supports that's over there. And so even, you know, getting your banker on your team and, and having them engaged and helping you through the yes. process could be beneficial too, right? Mm-hmm. Make your banker your best friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's usually best to do that before you really need them. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. No, that's good. Um, now, having been in business for 10 years, you know, I'm sure you've had some ups and downs and some challenges. I mean, there's Lots of that's what makes life go round. Uh, what do you think are some of the bigger challenges of having your own business in today's world? I mean, did you have anything specific to, you know, a woman in business or a minority in business? Or, or what's your thoughts on that? Not so much gender-specific challenges, but it's uh, definitely having uh, a small business in Hawaii is is... Uh, you know, it, it's not as uh, cost uh, um, effective as having, um, uh, the, you know, the, a, a business right. in Texas. Yeah, um, the, the cost structure um, here in Hawaii can be pretty challenging. Exactly. And um, manpower as well. Uh, yeah, yes. We've had um, many, many challenges. Um, Trying to find um, the right person for the right job. Correct, mm. and and especially when we expanded to the neighbor islands, mm. um, that that's still an ongoing challenge. However, we have um, partnered with the um, um, Pro Service with a PO um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. company, and um, they're uh, helping us with um, everything from payroll to. Um, uh, 
benefits to um, risk management and and um, employee training. Wow, um, you know, and it's you know, I guess the the cost factor in Hawaii is always challenging, mm -hmm. and and there's not a lot you can do about that other than just constantly looking for the best deals and right. and really monitoring your expenses and making sure that nothing is wasted. But that employee, that human resource area, can be very daunting. You know, the laws change so often, it's hard to stay on top of it. They've got these new overtime laws that yes. are kicking in here soon. December 1st. You know, mm -hmm. and, you know, working with a company that has the background experience and being able to, to help with that uh, can really take a lot of stress off of the process. Mm -hmm. And I know Pro Service is, is one of those companies that do that. And, you know, Ultras is out there. Ultra. and. Uh, you know, the Vantaggio, Vantaggio provides mm -hmm. some HR support mm -hmm. and then uh, PAU, which is the, the Pacific Advantage um, Unlimited, uh, you know, that's mm -hmm. a smaller PAU that, or a smaller PEO that uh, provides some of that type of support too. You know, so there are options out there uh, that you can explore. But basically the bottom line is that, uh, you know, they handle a lot of that Department of Labor laws and regulations, yes. they mm -hmm. do the payroll and they do all the payroll reports, exactly. which can be tremendous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. And then also um, a good PEO is going to have legal staff in yes. case you have any issues, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Yes, and that is if, had I known about um, PEOs from day one, I would have just partnered with them from day one. Um, it's and for any business owners, you know, you your focus should be growing the business, not, mm. uh, you know, not keeping up with um, HR laws and um, mm -hmm. uh, increase mm -hmm. in, in medical, um, you know, benefits rates or uh, all anything that's associated with, um, you know, um, employee management. So that, you know, uh, partnering with a PEO, um, for me, I highly recommend it. It's almost um, like having your own HR department there exactly. to support and help you. Exactly. You know, and, and it's an important part of the business for a lot of reasons. One is that, you know, the employees, of course, can make or break you. I mean, they're the ones that a lot of time the customers see yes. just as much, if not more, than the owner. Exactly. Uh, and, but it's also one of the biggest cost items that a mm -hmm. business will have. Yes. So they really need to be efficient and on top of that. Uh, and if you do have any issues, um, you know, working through that could also get expensive and very time consuming. So having somebody there as your partner in that process um, keeps you out of trouble. It does, definitely, yeah. Very mm -hmm. good. So, you know, having employees is always a challenge and having a PEO to help with that. Um, you know, access to capital is another challenge another a lot of companies yes. have. Mm -hmm. And, you know, having a good relationship with your banker can help with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, the, the, I guess the costs of doing business uh, is another issue. And, and that's why you need to have somebody in the finance and the accounting area helping control and monitor and, and watch the trends on that. I guess um, the other piece that... that tends to be uh, pretty big is the sales and marketing piece. Now, have you, uh, you, you seem from your background, you have a pretty good comfort with the sales and marketing side. Have you had any challenges in that area? Sales and marketing uh, with the, um, you know, the prevalence of um, online marketing and also uh, um, the, Google, the you know the uh, Google Analytics, mm -hmm. and you know all of the tools that are now available to a business owner, um, it has actually kicked um, sales and marketing to uh, another level. Mm. You know, um, has it made it easier or harder? Do you think? Uh, from my point of view, I think it it has made it a lot easier. Okay. Um, good. And and. The same thing as with my my HR. I've also outsourced my my on, online marketing. Oh. Yes, we hired um, a company who who is doing our online marketing, and uh, specific to our industry. 
Yeah. Ah, okay. Yes, to the home medical equipment. So that's also one thing to consider when you're um, looking for a um, marketing company. Make sure that they're familiar with your industry. That's a good point because yes. there's a lot of webmasters or web designers or e-commerce mm -hmm. people that are kind of um, generalists in yes. a sense. Mm -hmm. But to really be able to be effective, you really have to have a, a good feel for that product or service that it's trying to be marketed and, and sold. Uh, and that's where the experience comes in in that industry. And you found somebody to do that. That's great. Yes, we did. We did. And they're um, actually redesigning our website. Um, and they're also doing our digital marketing. Well, and how does that differ from your website? What is digital marketing? Digital marketing is that Google Analytics uh, and okay. um, search engine optimization. Right, and the, the SEO stuff. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, because, um, uh, you know, um, I was in the sales and marketing field, but we didn't have any, you know, Google Analytics and Facebook back then. No, and, 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 and Instagram. And <laughs> it's amazing how quickly these mm -hmm. things can change. And, and what worked a year or two ago may not work as well today and so you've got to again mm -hmm. you have to have that expertise you know yes. in, in your mm -hmm. consultant or advisors to be able to keep up with all of this and take right. advantage of it when it happens right right yeah I wore many hats when you know when we were just starting up but um, I've learned I've learned it the hard way well but you know Mylene mm -hmm. that's very important because mm -hmm. yes you've worn all those hats you can't quite quite take all the hats off yet because you still have to manage and, and be aware of what all these different individuals yes. are doing mm -hmm. um, and make sure that they're all working together you know and that the, the synchronization is there mm -hmm. that they're all moving the company in the same direction and so you, you can't always disconnect you have to have some sort of a connection mm -hmm. there don't you think yes yes that that's very true um, although now my focus is you know before it was I was managing, I was doing the, very involved in the daily operations. You were doing, doing and managing yes, and supervising yes, and yes. all of that. And, yeah. you know, I was doing deliveries and I was, you know, doing yeah. marketing, uh, pounding the pavement, you yeah. know, knocking on the doors and um, just doing a little bit of everything. However, now the focus is, my focus now is to grow the business right. so the, you know, my employees will have a much better working environment and that we're able to, um, you know, provide the best um, service there is for yeah, the veterans. Customer for the veterans. service, delivery of product. Yes. Yeah, that's uh -huh. great. But, you know, I'm afraid we have run out of time. I wish we had more time to chat. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that's one of the biggest transitions and possible challenges that small businesses have is to be able to step away from that, let other people right. do it, and mm -hmm. you move into that managerial role. And it sounds like you've made that transition very successfully. So congratulations. Thank you. Uh, this is Reg Baker. I'm the host of Business in Hawaii. We broadcast live every Thursday at 2 o'clock from 2 to 2.30, and we highlight individuals and successful businesses in Hawaii. Until next week, aloha.